dear students continuing with our lecture series on named reactions uh, this is our 23rd lecture and uh, today we will discuss what is haloform reaction haloform reaction is uh, uh, basically uh, synthesis of haloforms uh, from the uh, exhaustive halogenation of ketones and uh, the one condition which is must for the formation of uh, haloforms is that uh, this ketone must contain some methyl group so basically methyl ketones uh, they are converted into haloform and a molecule of uh, carboxylic acid or its derivative is formed depending upon the type of uh, base uh, which we use uh, uh, in addition to the halogens uh, which will produce uh, haloform and the halogen which can be used is fluorine bromine and iodine uh, but we cannot use uh, fluorine and the fluoroforms they cannot be uh, synthesized through this method and uh, this method is uh, even useful for uh, uh, secondary alcohols uh, which can also be uh, oxidized uh, to haloform uh, if uh, the ketone formed uh, during the oxidation of uh, secondary alcohol contains a methyl uh, for example uh, when uh, bromine is used uh, as the halogen and the sodium or potassium hydroxide is used uh, as the base then uh, bromine will react with the hydroxide ions uh, to give us bromide ion uh, bro hypohalite hypobromide ion and uh, water molecule and then secondary alcohols uh, reacts with the base uh, with the abstraction of uh, proton from the uh, secondary alcohol to give us this type of uh, nucleophilic oxygen which will react with the hypohalite that is uh, bromate ion uh, which is formed in the first step and uh, the hydrogen is uh, shifted from the secondary alcohol uh, to the bromate and the secondary alcohol is oxidized to the uh, methyl ketone and then this methyl ketone can further react with bromine and uh, the base to give us uh, bromoform as the product as far as mechanism of this reaction is concerned uh, when we are using methyl ketones uh, because of the presence of this carbonyl group uh, these protons present on the methyl group they are very acidic protons and they can be easily removed by the uh, base to give us uh, this type of uh, carbonyl uh, which can uh, be a resonance hybrid of uh, uh, this type of enolate and uh, because of uh, this uh, formation of uh, the enolate from the carbonyl uh, the carbonyl is stabilized then this enolate will attack the uh, halogen molecule that is if we are using bromine this will attack the uh, bromide ion and we will get uh, monobromo alpha ketone as the product then uh, this uh, alpha uh, bromo ketone uh, will further react with uh, bromine molecule and the base molecule till both the hydrogens present on this uh, alpha bromo uh, ketone they are replaced by bromo groups so uh, in a similar fashion which we have seen uh, in the first uh, step so uh, basically uh, in the presence of uh, base and uh, bromine the methyl ketone uh, which we have used as a substrate is converted into tribromo ketone uh, as an intermediate then uh, the base will attack the carbonyl after the formation of this tribromo ketone and uh, this will be a nucleophilic addition across the carbonyl uh, compound and we will get this type of intermediate wherein uh, the bromo form in ion will be 
uh, eliminated uh, with the breaking of this carbon carbon bond and we will get carboxylic acid and this bromophore uh, bromophore anion and this uh, anion will abstract proton from the carboxylic acid and we will get bromoform as the product so this is how uh, the bromoform uh, can be formed from methyl ketones uh, and this reaction is known as halophone reaction uh, when we are using uh, bromine uh, bromoform will be formed if we are using iodine iodoform will be formed and if we are using chlorine chloroform then some uh, recent examples uh, of this uh, haloform reaction is where we can uh, synthesize uh, derivatives of carboxylic acids directly from methyl ketones through uh, this haloform reaction for example when we uh, methyl ketones or carbinols that is uh, the secondary alcohols uh, they are reacted with iodine in ammonia as a base so here instead of sodium or potassium hydroxide if we use ammonia as a base so instead of carboxylic acid we will get amides in addition to the iodoform uh, which will be formed because of the presence of this iodine so uh, this uh, haloform reaction can be used for uh, the direct synthesis of amides from uh, methyl ketones using haloform then uh, similarly uh, the aryl aryl alkenes uh, al uh, aryl alkanes uh, they can also be functionalized to get converted into uh, amides uh, directly by using iodine and ammonia in uh, addition to this base tbhp and uh, this reaction again takes place through the formation of iodoform and uh, this is again a very important example of Haloform reaction. So first, uh, the functionalization of this carbon will take place because of this iodine and ammonia, and because of this aryl uh, group, these protons they are uh, because of the electron withdrawing nature. These protons they are acidic and they uh, they are activated in the presence of iodine and ammonia, and this will be first converted into uh, the ketone and then that ketone uh, in presence under these conditions will be converted into amides through haloform reaction then uh, ethylenes they can also be uh, transformed into uh, directly into amides uh, under these conditions also so uh, if we use anbromosuccinamide and as a isobutyronitrile uh, which is a free radical generator and uh, anbromosuccinamide you know uh, will react with this and uh, the bromo group uh, will be transformed uh, transferred to the uh, ethylene uh, to give us uh, substrate which on reaction with iodine in ammonia uh, will convert uh, those substrates into the amide directly through haloform reaction. So these are some important applications in recent years uh, which has taken place where uh, a modification of the haloform reaction has taken place that instead of uh, methyl ketones we can use uh, ethyl arenes as the substrate which can directly be converted into carboxylic acid derivatives like amides through haloform reaction. So these are the references which have been used for preparing this lecture. Thank you very much.